okay, those with food will laugh at your goal, but uh, Mr. Chapman, uh, do you believe that we should be – those of us who can can get completely out of the dollar denominated assets? Right, and the best way to do it is through something to do with gold and silver. Because you really don't want to have other currencies except for expenses. You know, if you live in Europe, you've got to use euros, but that doesn't mean you can't buy gold and silver coins. You know, if you live in America, you get more choice. That's very true. 100%. I agree with that, you know, without even looking at the stats. Uh, um, uh Gang, uh, those anybody wants to call in, or if you want to uh, let me know, I will get in touch with you uh, with your question. Uh, you can ask your questions, and please uh, try to put your questions in the Marine Corps chat room. Those of you uh, fellow Marines, please put your questions in capital letters because I y'all are throwing so, so much at me. Uh, I've got three chat rooms here, and it's hard to find the questions. And I'm I'm trying to pick them all out, and when you type them in lower case, it's hard for me to find them. Uh, and I know that these questions are important to you and as they are, are to me. Uh, let's see here. What's that other question? Mr. Chapman, I uh, had another one here, and I apologize for taking up the time here. Uh, stocks fell again today, Mr. Chapman. Uh, and do you think that this is a, the, gloom and, the, gloom and, the gloom and doom is growing, or is this a form of manipulation by the powers to be behind the system? I don't think there's any manipulation right now. He adds, he adds to the question uh, because uh, it's not going down in big links. It's just going down 50 100 $150 at a time. Well, I get news for your fellow Marine. It was down 265 points yesterday, and that was not minuscule. But anyway, it was off some 55 points today. And the point is it's going lower. It went up, as I said earlier in the program, uh, because the anticipation of the Fed loosening up again. And now the profit-taking is taking in, take, it being taken, and it will go down to 10,000 on the Dow. Uh, I don't have today's close, but yesterday it's, it's about 10,300. And uh, we could go to 10,000. It may go back to the low and test it. And it may be broken or it may hold. Uh, that was 9,680 or something like that. And so as far as the market's concerned, that's that. Today, uh, Goldman Sachs come out and said gold's going to $1,300 an ounce soon. And, of course, that helped gold go up today. Uh, gold was up uh, on the spot market, uh, $17.30 to $1,214.80. And silver rose 17 cents to 18.06, and that's going to continue. They're going to go appreciably higher, just like I told you they would. And so, uh, that's the state of the market. Um, a gentleman in the blog talk chat room comes in and says, uh, "Mr. Gentleman, the market should be around 3,500 dollars. Do you agree?" And I got a couple of more questions for you. Well, I think the the, the market right now. In, in true reality, without the manipulation, uh, and because only the better companies in the country are really making money, and they've done that by firing everybody uh, that they could, you know, 70% of costs uh, in a corporation come from uh, from people working for them. Um, but I think uh, I'd settle at the moment for 6550 on the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which is the low that we had about a year and a half ago. And uh, we'll work it from there, but eventually the market's going to go considerably lower. A uh, question from South Texas. Uh, ask Mr. Chapman if he can elaborate on just exactly what the de deflationary depression is. It's when the value of your currency has been so inflated that it doesn't buy very much. And usually what happens is that the devaluation against other currencies in gold and is usually a default on debt. And that default dictates the value, say, of the dollar in this case. I projected two-thirds loss. In other words, if all of that happens a year from now, like John Williams is talking about, then 
uh, your dollar would have purchasing power of about 32 and a half cents on the dollar. And they may even issue new currency for that matter. And, uh, and so you lose buying power. Now you lose it in inflation, but you also lose it in deflation as well. It's the worst of all worlds. That's why you've got to have gold rather than paper currencies. And that's right. Uh, do we have enough time for – yeah, we got enough time for a couple of more questions. Um, uh, Mr. Chapman, silver – so how long can uh, these power to be keep up this huge suppression on silver and gold? It's almost pathetic. Do you feel that silver should uh, go to a 15 to 1 ratio, uh, which has been the best in the, in the history? Well, I don't know about the ratio, but I do know the Commodity Futures Trading Corporation better act in the next uh, – by about the 15th of October – and uh, have uh, Hong Kong Shanghai Bank, which is HSBC, and uh, J.P. Morgan Chase uh, cover their naked short positions down to about 10% of the total uh, short position each. And they now are short about 42.5%. And if that happens, then silver is going to take off to 25 or $30, and maybe even higher. But we don't know whether they're going to do their job. I mean, the government, they just don't care. I agree on that, 100%. Uh, yeah, from a Canadian, uh, please ask Mr. Chapman, are treasuries a safe investment, as a Canadian, are treasuries a safe investment? And what do you see, Mr. Chapman, happening with the Canadian banks and the Canadian dollar in the near near to far-reaching future? The banks will do okay because they don't have toxic waste uh, exposure like American and other banks do. The Canadian dollar will go higher. Uh, the Canadian government will try to keep it from going higher, but they won't be successful. Uh, it'll go to at least 115. It's tr trading around 97 right now, uh, 0.97. And... Um, I think uh, Canada is in very decent shape. Uh, I think the real estate is going to come down in Ontario and B.C., uh, particularly in B.C., and, uh, and still some more in Alberta. Uh, I think your money is best off, and we recommend Canadian, all Canadian gold stocks. You should be buying them. We'll give you the names if you email us, bob at intforecaster.com, and you can buy gold and silver coins and bullion in Canada, and Canadian treasuries, if you've got lots and lots of money, that's okay. Mm, very well. Okay. And uh, Mr. Chapman, you mentioned uh, a class action suit earlier uh, against J.P. Morgan for silver manipulation. Do you know when that suit will be activated? No, I don't, and um, my source has not said a thing. And uh, I suspect that maybe the government stepped in and told them, you bring this lawsuit and uh, uh, it'll be your worst nightmare. That's what I suspect has happened. You don't live in a free country. You, you live in a country run by a bunch of goons. One last question real fast. Uh, J.P. Morgan. Uh, has been manipulating silver and gold for many months. Do you feel that Chase and Morgan are about to uh, be taken down by any government justice system, or all the or are all the justice systems just a bunch of criminal cabals? It's a bunch of criminal cabals, but we may get to a point where they'll have to ease up on it. They'll have to throw us a bone. And that's going to happen sooner or later, but when, I don't know. But they all are criminals. Well, Mr. Chairman, that's our show for today, and I want to let you know that if you were in Iowa, you couldn't play golf unless you had a, uh, had a pontoon boat. 
So wherever you are out there, I, I pray for you and your beautiful wife and that you and Judy can get out and enjoy some sunshine, enjoy the weather, and have a good round of golf this weekend, sir. And we want to thank you for being on the show. Well, thank you, and thank you all for listening. And I'll be back next week for sure. And uh, how many other radio shows you do a week, uh, over 25, or are you up to 35? No, I, I run 25 to 30 hours a week, and I'm doing my schedule for the next three months right now. And, you know, I usually get five or six shows a day. Okay. So let's uh, say five I'm times five about, is 25. I have a captain from uh, from uh, from Rota, Spain. Please get the schedule for, for Mr. Chapman so we can listen to all his shows whenever we can. Many of us have to listen to your show, which is free, but... And it's outstanding. However, there are some shows we'd like to listen to that are, give other points of view from other other talk show hosts. Just uh, go on right? the site. Go on his site. It's there, and I will put and, it out. And, and email, email and get a free copy, for goodness sake. What do you think hey, we got him here for? <laughs> hey, guys, it's real easy. Listen to the commercial for Bob Chapman when it comes up. My name is Drew Rains. God bless you, Mr. Chapman. we got to go for the break. And our love and respect to Judy, okay? Okay. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. God bless you.